The Somali government has ordered an investigation after a politician was killed by government forces. Public Works and Reconstruction Minister Abbas Abdullahi Sheikh Siraji was killed on Wednesday after government forces mistakenly opened fire on his car. Several others were wounded in the attack. The incident happened near the presidential palace in Mogadishu. He was the youngest minister to serve in the cabinet. Let's speak to TRT World's Africa reporter Fidelis Embar, who joins me now. Fidelis, uh, how on earth did security forces make this mistake? Well, that's the question many people in Mogadishu have uh, been asking because uh, this actually happened just by the presidential palace. And uh, his vehicle was uh, reported to be about 500 meters away from uh, the people who shot at his, uh, at his car. So for people to aim at someone who is 500 meters away from uh, another vehicle in front of the presidential palace is actually what's surprising to many people because uh, the, person, the, the government official whose bodyguards shot the minister was actually in an armored vehicle and the minister was not uh, in an armored vehicle. So people are also asking why was the minister not given an armored vehicle because yeah, across Mogadishu, it's so difficult to move around in ordinary vehicles, even though people have uh, armed guards following them, but they still drive around in armored vehicles. So people are asking questions why uh, the minister's uh, life was actually like uh, exposed, because he was in an ordinary vehicle where, he, apart from being shot at, he could have also been blown up by suicide bombers, because this is almost like a daily occurrence uh, in Mogadishu and some other parts of uh, Somalia. And how big a loss is he? Because he was very young, wasn't he? And he was seen as something of a role model for Somalia's youth. Uh, considering his background, you know, having grown up uh, in uh, at the Dabab, uh, the Dabab uh, refugee camp in Kenya, because his parents fled to Kenya in 1991 when the, uh, the former government collapsed. And people who fled for, uh, because of drought and conflict, most of, thousands of them grew up in the Dab. That's where he grew up. That's where he got the inspiration to come back. He actually got back to Somalia uh, in 2016 and began his political career. He emerged as a, an MP of the Kismayo uh, port city and was you know, elected into parliament. Shortly after that, the president recognized his popularity among the youth and decided to appoint him into that very sensitive office, which is uh, public works and reconstruction. And he's always been like going around asking for people to give him the support so that they'll be able to rebuild Somalia. And now that he's been killed, people are like really worried about what would happen next because uh, on social media and even uh, in local media, people have been complaining that uh, this is more like an attempt to silence the youth because there's been a campaign by younger people to see if they can have more say in government. And by this, they want more younger, that's they want younger people in positions of authority. And now that someone of this uh, you know, uh, position has been taken out. It's something that um, even the president now is calling for calm to more like diffuse tension so that uh, people won't be really reading political undertones to the killing of the minister.